Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and what we have here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 which we just previewed. However, we thought it would be nice to give you a more thorough demonstration of the software that comes included, the applications that are optimized to work with the Samsung S Pen. So let's start with the basics. Uh, let's say that you need to take down a quick note. The fastest and easiest way to do that is uh, to hold down the button located on the side of the S Pen, double tap on the display and you get this uh, blank page which you can use to take down your note, you save it and that's it. That's the quickest way to take down a basic note with the Galaxy Note 10.1. For anything more advanced than that, however, you go to the S Note application, which we are about to demonstrate now. Let's start with a new project. There are several templates that come preloaded, but for this demonstration, we're just gonna use a blank page. The first thing that we're gonna do is to change the background of our project. There are several background graphics that come preloaded, and for this project of ours, we're gonna use this one. There we have it, the background has changed. Now let's take a look at the drawing tools that come included with uh, S Note. There are five uh, different brushes and uh, as you're about to see, each one of them looks uh, slightly different from the others. Moreover, uh, they react differently depending on uh, how hard uh, I am pressing the tip of the S Pen against the surface of the display. One of the brushes can be used as a highlighter, just uh, pick its color, adjust its uh, transparency and width and uh, highlight the area of your project or the text that uh, you would like to. Now let's move on to inserting photos in your project. We're just gonna open a new page, uh, we're not gonna change the background of this one. You can import pictures from uh, several places like your image gallery for example. Let's uh, check out what we have in our image gallery and uh, insert it in our project. The photo is now loading. You can uh, move the photo around with the S Pen by holding down the S Pen on the photo. Of course you can adjust its size, you can rotate it and move it around your project. You can also import photos uh, straight from the clipart gallery. There's uh, more than a few graphics that come preloaded. Let's import this snowman just for no particular reason. And now we have a cute little snowman in our project. Additionally, you can import graphics straight from your browser and here's how you do that. First thing you want to do is to open a web browser window alongside your project. We're going to open our home page. Let's uh, stop it from loading for now. And what we are about to do is we're going to take a screenshot of it. You do this by holding down the button on the S Pen and touching the S Pen against the window. Now the, win the screenshot has been captured. It opens up automatically. We're going to crop it now. The area that we want to use, we're about to crop it. You can crop a rectangle or a freehand shape, just like this. For this demonstration, we're gonna crop a rectangle, just like this. Just like this. Hit done, and the image has been cropped. Hold down the S Pen, drag and drop, and now we have a new graphic imported from the web browser in our project. Let's uh, close this window, we don't need it anymore. Close the web browser window and here we have it, a screenshot of our home page in our project. Another feature that we would like to demonstrate is formula match, so let's select it and uh, let's come up with a random math problem. For example, 22 squared plus 384. That's a bit hard to calculate without using a calculator, so Let's hit search and the problem will get submitted to the Wolfram Alpha database and here's the result on the right side, 868. However, let's uh, try with uh, something a bit more advanced than that. For example, yeah, 
Yeah, let's see what will happen if we submit this. Another interesting S-Node feature is shape match. When active, it will automatically detect basic geometrical shapes and straighten them out for you. It also works with lines and arrows. Next up is Photoshop Touch, which also comes preloaded on the Galaxy Note 10.1. In case you've never worked with the application, there are several tutorials that can demonstrate for you how to use the built-in effects, how to select uh, various areas of the photos, and how to make uh, the most of the application. Of course, this mobile version of uh, Photoshop Touch isn't as uh, good as the uh, desktop version by not being good, we mean that it doesn't have as much filters or capabilities, but uh, for something that you get uh, out of the box, it's a very useful uh, piece of software that will come in handy in case uh, you like uh, tinkering with your photos, in case you want to go a step uh, above Instagram or other image editing software. The S Pen makes the whole image editing process even easier with its precision, and even if you hold down the, if you hover the S Pen above the display, you notice how a cursor appears underneath, which will make your selection even more precise. Last but not least, we have Adobe Ideas, which uh, is uh, like a quick and easy to use uh, sketchpad. You can use it uh, to visualize your ideas in case you uh, get hit by inspiration on the go, and you need a basic tool, something that isn't that sophisticated. You have a, a color picker, you can adjust the opacity of your brush and its size, and that's, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. There are no other fancy tools besides uh, the ability to use uh, different uh, layers. That's more or less it. You can zoom in and zoom out on the page using uh, the pinch to zoom gesture. And that's pretty much it. The, there's uh, nothing more that the application offers, but it's uh, good enough in case you just need to visualize your ideas while on the go. Thank you for watching our video demonstration of the S Pen and the S Pen optimized applications that come included with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. This is Nick, and in case you want to check out any of our other smartphone reviews or software reviews, just visit our website phonearena.com.